Dwight Howard took to social media to address the quote-unquote haters online after the former NBA player denied all allegations stemming from a July 2021 incident with another man, according to court documents. Just what the video. I spend my time with. That's the problem with y'all people. Y'all worried about who people spend their time with. Whatever I'm doing in my bedroom is my damn business. Whatever you doing in your bedroom is your damn business. That ain't for everybody. And everybody don't need to know. You ain't got to say anything about what you're doing in your fucking house. It's your house. You ain't got to explain that to nobody. No matter what they say. They can say anything. Who gives two shits? Y'all too damn nosy worried about what I'm doing in my bed. Hell, the people who know what's going on in my bed, they know what the hell going on with my bed. And what the hell I do in it. That ain't for everybody on the internet. That ain't for no blogs. That ain't for no websites. I don't got to tell nobody where I put my wood at since y'all want to get to it. That ain't nobody business where I put my shit at. Y'all just weird. If you want to know what people doing in their bedroom or who they messing with and sleeping with, you are weird. You're the weird one. Oh, shoot. Y'all heard about that, Dwight? They said Dwight was in a oh, text message and a guy. Nigga, who cares? Who cares who I was text messaging? You just mad because I want text messaging. Yo, ugly. In a civil lawsuit, the 18 year NBA veteran said he engaged in consensual sexual activity with a man named Stephen Harper, but denied causing any injury to Harper while they were at Dwight Howard's home in July 2021. He also denied allegations of intentional infliction of emotional distress. And false imprisonment as stated in the civil lawsuit. Dwight Howard wants the civil lawsuit made against him to be thrown out. One of Dwight Howard's attorneys released a statement saying, What was a private consensual encounter was made public for profit, and Mr. Howard looks forward to bringing the truth to light in the court of law. The allegations against Mr. Howard are contested. Mr. Howard intends to present the truth. The truth is, Mr. Howard blocked Mr. Harper on social media and then was confronted with two options paid to protect his reputation or have a fabricated story made public. Despite being an easy target due to the subject matter and his status as a celebrity, Mr. Howard chose to trust in the justice system and will rely on all future court filings to speak for themselves. So yeah, that's what's going on at Dwight Howard's side of things. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Can't no man stop what God already has planned.